how does an air compressor work? An air compressor is a pneumatic device that converts power into potential energy stored in pressurized air. The energy contained in the compressed air can be used for a variety of applications such as cleaning, cutting, driving, signal transmission, actuating mechanism, etc. We at IOCL WRPL Mainline use this compressed air as engine starting cranking, control air for use in hazardous and flammable areas, and as an actuator mechanism for solenoid valves and for cleaning. Compressors can be classified according to the design and principle of operation. Single or multi-stage reciprocating compressor, compound compressor, rotary screw compressor, rotary vane pump, centrifugal compressor. This is an example of three stages reciprocating compressor made by ELGI Equipments Limited. This is a THPC 1500D model designed to supply compressed air at a flow of 30 CFM, 0.85 M3 per minute, at a pressure of 35 kgf per centimeter square. These air compressors use this principle by pumping air into an air chamber through the use of the constant motion of pistons. They use one-way valves to guide air into and out of a chamber, whose base consists of a moving piston. When the piston is on, it's downstroke. It draws air into the chamber. When it is on its upstroke, the charge of air is forced out and into a storage tank. The major components of this compressor are crankcase. Its role is to offer support to the crankshaft. Cylinders. Cylinders are pressure vessels that contain the gas that is to be compressed. And as such, they are one of the most important components of a reciprocating compressor. Cylinders support the discharge valve plates and suction and sometimes feature replaceable liners or sleeves which give the cylinders very portion a renewable surface. The function of multiple cylinders in reciprocating compressors is also to cool the temperature of the machine during its compression cycle which tends to generate heat. Piston The mode of operation of the compressor greatly relies on the piston. This is because the piston is the component that actually compresses air. It also moves the energy from the crankcase to the gas contained in the cylinder in a bit to prevent the refrigerant from leaking through the gap. In between the piston and cylinder walls, this component is usually covered with piston rings. Its movement brings about the suction and compression of the air. Crankshaft the crankshaft is the major shaft in a compressor, the other being a motor shaft. The shaft revolves around the frame axis and it drives the piston, piston rod and connecting rod. Connecting rod When it comes to the crankshaft and piston, a connecting rod is linked between either. Valve A compressor valve's function is to allow gas to flow in the right direction while blocking those that may tend to flow in an undesired direction. Accordingly, these valves are placed in each operating end of a cylinder. One end will have a set of inlet valves to allow gas into the cylinder, while another end features two discharge valves. Bearings In the compressor, as shown, it is a ball bearing. It supports the crankshaft and provides free motion to it. 